Welcome to Edify. I know it's been a long break since I last posted. Today I will speak to you about credibility. Speaking of which, I do hope the long break we've had without posting did not cause you to doubt our credibility. We all want to be believed right. We all want to be trusted. We all want to be taken seriously. In my work with children and youth, I have come to learn that nothing destroys children and young people like their opinions being taken for granted or being dismissed as incredible. In as much as I speak out for the young people, I equally challenge them to build a credible brand of their true self. The word credibility is derived from the word credible, meaning capable of being believed, believable, worthy of belief or confidence or trustworthy. Now, capability to be believed is not derived from just what you say today, but what you say and do consistently over time. I have lived and worked with people who are handy yet inconsistent. I find it difficult to entrust them with greater responsibility. I have observed that many people around them treat them the same. They can only be trusted with tasks that are shared or not as critical to the overall outcome. Where margins of error can be afforded, there are many traits that can help you become successful. But if you are going to encourage certain, certain things within yourself, you might do better by focusing on those that will make you credible. Credibility is, in a way, a higher bar than success. It means others look at you as a reliable resource and decision maker. It allows those who rely on you to know they can count on you, trust you, do business with you, and align with you. Being credible means fostering a set of very specific qualities, no matter what your role is, your organization, or your industry. When I think about credibility in terms of the Bible, 1 John chapter 5, verse 7 to 10 stands out. It says, For there are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and the three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater. For the testimony of God is this, that he has testified concerning his Son. The one who believes in the Son of God has a testimony in himself. The one who does not believe God has made him a liar, because he has not believed in the testimony that God has given concerning his Son. The Bible is credible because it's consistent, dependable, and trustworthy. It is dependable because God is dependable and Christ is consistent. Do you have the witness of three? If you're serious about establishing yourself as, a, as credible, here is what you must do. Number one, be trustworthy. Cultivate trust and trust and get trust. If people like you, they will trust you. And if they trust you, they will do business with you. Your trust account is more important than your bank account. Number two, be competent. Become an expert of your field. Be confident in your capabilities so people know you are the one they can count on. Number three, be consistent. Everything you do, say and think should be consistent. The messages you are sending out, the actions you take, and the things you allow into your heart and mind, the thoughts should all be in total alignment with who you are and what you do. Credibility only happens when everything is consistent from the inside out. 
Number four, be genuine. You need authenticity to cultivate credibility. When you're trying to win trust, you can't rely on the fake it till you make it approach. The basis for establishing your business or your leadership is a solid foundation that brings tremendous lasting stability, no matter what changes may be ahead. Number five, be sincere. Being credible means being sincere. It means you do not say everything you think, but you mean everything you say. You cannot claim it, you just must be it. True sincerity requires commitment and dedication and the willingness to be steadfast, unmovable, and always straightforward, no matter what. Number six. Be respectful. Holding other people's feelings in respect may mean nothing to you, but it could mean everything to them. Treat everyone with respect, not because you expect something, but because you know they deserve it. Titles are granted, positions are given, but it's respect that earns you create credibility. Number seven. Be accountable. To establish credibility, you must be accountable for your decisions and actions. When you make a mistake, own up to it and take steps to correct the error. When you aren't sure, say so. Number eight, be loyal. Your credibility grows when you look out for the best interests of those around you. It's about serving and protecting others. Loyalty is the sense that is a mutual commitment to success. Number nine, be honest. Part of establishing cre credibility is developing a reputation for speaking with candor and honesty. Transparency is the fundamental keystone to, the, to business and the core source of credibility. And 10, be principled. Stop comparing yourself to others and learn to be yourself. The principled person you are, standing tall for the values you believe in, always strive to improve yourself to become better today than you were yesterday. Work to serve those around you and the world with a core conviction that is uniquely you. Be blessed.